Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It is my last day at the National Stationery Show. I'm going home today. New York is fascinating, but home is where it's at. Anyway, I we've been busy, and busy is good, except that I haven't shown you the booth yet. <laughs> I've been meaning to do that, so thank goodness for Instagram stories where we just can do random 10 second clips whenever we have a chance to breathe. So that is my goal today, is to show you the product and the samples, and anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Also, I am totally wearing those shoes and I'm not taking them off. And, hey, this is this is my booth neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Hi. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> we, our booths are right next to each other. So, you know, we're BFFs now. <laughs> so first of all, this is our side of a booth that has our brand. The other side is Loft 213, which has stone wrap as well. And um, there's our guys who are helping out. Um, Obviously, the patterns, you know, come on, they're straight from Project Life, so there's all sorts of goodness here. Lots of patterns that are available for, for, for uh, retailers to pick up. And here are some of our Christmas designs from um, last year, and yes, we are planning to do new Christmas designs this year. And then here are some more that we have at Joanne that are not available on our website. Okay, fun fact, when we showed up at the first day of the show, when we walked into the booth, like all these pictures that you see on the wall, all but two fell down, glass everywhere, not cool. But this is, these are the survivors that we were able to salvage and hang up. So you can see there are lifestyle pictures in these frames showing different uses of the stone wrap, like in a drawer, around a jar, water bottles. And then here's a party scene that Molly set up. So literally everything is made with two rolls of stone wrap. We've got these two patterns and then she just cut and folded and the whole party scene came together just with those. This is our little cutting station. There's Molly in the background talking to Cole. So we have people um, stop by and just cut through this paper because I mean, that's where the magic happens. People cut through this and their jaws drop. All right, just a few more examples. You can absolutely punch through it like DIY. You can cover books with it or notebooks. Put a piece in a frame. And obviously you can wrap gifts. And what's really cool, I need to actually show you, I, I wish you guys could feel this, um, but let me show you more about the durability of this stone wrap. Okay, as you know, cut through this bad boy cuts like butter. You already know that because I've said it about a million times. And check out how hard that is on the corner to even break. It does not tear unless you want it to tear. So basically it behaves the way you want it to. So it's super durable. That's why you have all those DIY things. It's water resistant. It's strong. It's awesome. But if you just want to tear it, you can. <laughs> So first of all, Cole, you got to stretch it out before you get started. Like, you know, stretch it out. Yep. Loosen up. Loosen up. Yep. Make sure you're ready. <laughs> what you got? What's happening? Oh, he's making, he's making space. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's just that the show floor just opened, so people aren't here yet. So what happens in this booth stays in this booth. I'm taking a chance to walk a few more aisles. I try to do that. Like, I'll sneak away for five minutes at a time and just cover some aisles. And I know you're seeing just, like, just napkins, but oh, my word. So it's called the napkins, and these are disposable, right? Okay. But you guys, they are amazing. Look at these. They look, you should, can you, can you imagine what they feel like? Yeah, so this isn't even, it's not fabric, you guys. It's, it's, it's a napkin that's disposable. It's so crazy. Okay, you can find these online, which is awesome as well, because they're not in any big box retailers right now. So I'm here as an exhibitor, but this just takes me back to my days 
with Creating Keepsakes Magazine as their creative editor, I would go to these shows as an editor and just look for cool products and yeah, this is fun. Okay, I'm just obsessed with this display. Check out the rods and holding up the table. That is so rad. Okay, peace out, National Stationery Show. I'm out, but before I go, I totally forgot we have not done something that Molly and I thought would be so fun to do in New York. And some of you know what this is. I'm gonna do hide and seek. I've got a core kit on my luggage. I'm gonna place it somewhere here. And first person to get it, to get to get it, to take it. Let's just hope that a security guard doesn't like have like weird suspicions of this super innocent package that somebody gets to keep forever and ever. So if you are here at the National Stationery Show, come and get it. So this is Kimberly and this is Christine and I just told them about what we're doing and you guys okay with it? Yes. yes. All right, cool. Now don't you go and try and get it yourself because that's no, cheating. No, no. <laughs> have you scrapbooked before? Um, when I was a kid a long time ago. Yes. Okay, I'm at the airport and as I'm making my way to the gate, it's time for another round of Becky looks at private messages on Instagram because <laughs> I don't do that usually very often and anyway I'm just trying to answer some of your questions. Somebody was asking about the stone wrap um, and they said they cannot find it at Joanne and that is because not every single Joanne location actually has um, our stone wrap so you can always find it online. So next question somebody's asking about the frames that um, are in our booth at the National Stationery Show and those are from Ikea they're large I think maybe even 20 inches but they hold 12 by 12 prints next question is about this dress that I'm wearing um, it's nicknamed the bubble dress and some other things anyway it's on Amazon and the best way to give you the direct link is to go to BeckyHiggins.com forward slash favorites and it's linked right there Okay, another question is that someone was wondering about those accordion circle decorative things that we had in our booth, and I don't have that stuff with me right now to actually demonstrate, so I'm writing that down as something that we will show you at a later time. Super easy. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Okay, more questions about my attire. The cute jeans I was wearing yesterday, those are maternity jeans that I got at Target last year. So we tried searching to find, no, I'm not pregnant by the way. No, I'm not. Anyway, they're, they're not there. We can't find them online. Wendy actually was one that found them for me, and then she went searching for them. We can't find them. Anyway, they have little stretchy panels, and they're great when you don't have a little waist. They're so nice. Okay, enough questions for now, but I will watch messages just in case you've got a few more dying urge to know questions um, that you want to ask me. I will watch, and I will answer right here in stories, because why not? I just thought of the best idea to share with you. Okay, just look at the lighting on my face. And I'm facing different ways. It's fine, whatever, it doesn't look bad. But look what happens when I'm facing the window. <laughs> so for real, if you ever have a chance and you're snapping a picture, taking a selfie with a friend to face a window, that natural light that comes in when you've got dark behind you is so much more flattering. More questions about what I'm wearing. You guys are funny. Um, but hey, you wanna know? All right, so this necklace is from Charm and Charlie. My earrings were a gift from my friend Miriam, and I don't know where she got them. And my shoes are from Report. All right, another question is about if there's any update on the 10 by 10 albums, and there is. They have arrived to our online shop, which is shopbeckyhiggins.com, so go get them. And we have an update on our hide-and-seek winner at the National Stationery Show. Her name is Michelle, and here's a screenshot of what she shared on Instagram. All right, this is a good question. Somebody was asking about that last picture of New York City that I posted from last night. It's a really cool city shot. It, she asked if I use any filters. Um, I use an app called Pick Tap Go for all of my photo editing. So... 
that is a reminder of the picture itself. And it's worth noting that PicTopGo is the photo editing app that I use on absolutely every picture that I decide to keep. And it's also integrated with the Project Life app. So cool, right? This is a unique question. Susan's saying that she's loved following this, you know, all that I'm sharing in New York City. And then she says, how do you have all this energy to do everything that you do? Are you on a special diet or do you have special vitamins or what? I don't even know how to answer that question because no, I'm not on any special diet and no, I'm not even on vitamins and supplements and I just try my best to take care of myself. I'm not by any means very like super crazy healthy. But in an effort to try to answer your question, Susan, something that is very different about my life than it was several years ago when life was mad crazy is I prioritize sleep. I get a good night's rest every night. So. Well, you guys, this is fun, but I gotta go. It's time to board my flight, and I'm gonna get away from this very pretty window lighting <laughs> to catch my flight and hopefully get a lot of work done. Um, I cannot wait to get home to my kids. That's like what's top of mind right now. So, see you later.